my name is Eddie Topic. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited, and here is your weekly technical analysis of Paris Rapeseed, Winnipeg Canola and Malaysian Palm Oil Markets. I'll start with Paris Rapeseed. I spoke last week about the gapping move down that week. Uh, I markedly pointed out that whilst the original gap was filled, this freshly created gap between 532 and 527 and a quarter was to my mind too close in value to the previously filled gap. This action gave the whole of the middle of May elements of an island move. Now I also pointed out last week that the downside targets had already been achieved in the 517, area, area, 517 even area for this pattern. I also asked the question after achieving this island target below what was pushing prices lower? Was it still the two weeks overhang of the supposed island top? Because that sure wasn't much. Well, I think I can answer that now. Last Wednesday and Thursday, the two days after the gapping lower move, well, they were a rare combined pair of two two-day patterns at the same time. And this is important to note. They were a two-day bearish, two black gapping pattern and a two-day matching low pattern. Well, these are rare patterns on their own, especially the uh, black gapping pattern. But combined patterns, they, these were very, very rare. And their combined patterns were the reason that we've seen prices fall as they did until yesterday. Now, the road low was not without hiccups. We already had the off-mentioned congestion uh, support zone from 513 and three quarters to 519 and a half, dating from September 2012 as well as the lower tine of a now retired bullish shift pitchfork. This most likely caused the failed bull hammer action last Friday. It was only yesterday's bull hammer action, much like the one back in late April that turned the market. This time it was the approach to the short medium moving average currently at 484 and a quarter that did it. Whereas back in April it was the short moving average currently at 521 and a quarter. This recent halt and move back up has seemingly stimulated a fresh bounce of bullishness, something I have to admit I'm a bit surprised about. However, there is another thing to relate, uh, another thing related to this that I'd like to discuss. Now, this is way, way too early, but perhaps, just perhaps, we have, may have the makings of a possible head and shoulders pattern emerging from mid April to date, and using the bottom of the two hammers as the neckline. This is just a speculative thought right now, but if the market were to somehow turn around back down before reaching the highs of the 540s, then it might be a valid idea. I just wanted to make it known here rather than just let it rattle and round in my mind alone. Winnipeg Canola Last week I spoke about three interesting things since the fall in early May, and I quote, Firstly, we had a gap on the way down, at the same price level as on the way up in the previous week, leading to a gap between 8.94 and 8.96.10. This also means that prices have not traded at those levels ever. This also means that we have an island top formed over early May. There is no price target there as it relates to my second point and the elephant in the room here, the change gap from last week, well two weeks ago now, between 8.28.10 and 7.46 even. A bigger one than usual but one of the things one has to put up with if you use, as I do, continuation charts. Anyway, a target X, if I had bothered to draw it, would have been in that gap. Finally my third point, this related to the action this week, that's last week. We have seen two indecisive patterns already and probably a third on the way, with a possible bullish hammer action as well. It is all indicative of indecision at these levels. There is some congestion here between 702.70 and 729.10, though we do have the overhead rising medium moving average currently at 747.70, capping the action as well. However, I have a suspicion that the 2020 uptrend currently at 714.5 may have something to do with it, but not as an uptrend, but as a version of a bearish bump and run reversal type formed over 2021, a type of pattern that is. 
It is not a clear pattern at all, and I can see many arguments against it. But if this uptrend is truly broken, then I suspect we may see a drop down that may well slice through the rising long moving average below, which is actually currently at 648.60. Caution on this one, and I'm still not happy about the idea of it. And that's the end of the quote. As you can see, the key action to look at is what the market does and may do around the 2021 uptrend. And I suppose by inference, what it also does around the late October 2020 today uptrend currently at 71010. Now earlier this week, the market broke down through both with a pair of consecutive closes below and some considerable way down towards the long moving average. However, the first day of this week, the Tuesday, it was with a lower indecisive spinning top and yesterday was with a seeming bull hammer action. These though lower were tenuous moves and looking at today's move back up to over both the broken 2020 uptrend and the July high at 7.10.80 uh, makes it worthy of further questioning. It may be a, a natural reactionary move back up today or a fresh attempt lower or it may be something else. It is too early to say as yet so watch this carefully. What I can add is that I suspect the medium moving average overhead currently at 747.70 may try to cap any rise right now. Bursa Malaysia crude palm oil. So we still have a mid-October 2020 to late 2021 bullish shift pitchfork showing the bullish angle of attack of this market. Additionally, we have a newer, slightly more acute bullish shift pitchfork for the January to late March move, also showing promise. In the meantime, the way the market moved up and reached target X in the 46.75 area, the target for the January low base bullish halfway hesitation pattern, and then how it dropped off last week like a stone off a cliff, has been very satisfying. The fall dropped down through both middle tines and breached the lower tine, currently 4080 of the newer, more acute bullish shift pitchfork, but with only one close below. The fall was halted by the 50% Fibonacci line of the whole 2021 move at 4010 for a move back up over the short medium moving average, currently 4144. Yet this pullback up was only temporary, as today we've seen the market surge lower again and actually close right on the lower time. This market is on a seeming knife edge. It wouldn't take much to put prices, push prices further lower, though I suspect the flatlining medium moving average currently at 39.58 and the lower time of the original mid-October 2020 to late January bullish shift book, pitchfork currently at 38.29 may have something to say about any move lower. Now my one cause of concern is that this action this week is just a halfway hesitation. If that were to be the case then we could see the market try down to the 3600 area close to the long moving average currently at 3539. At the moment this is just a cause of concern in the back of my mind. But I'd rather say it than not and look even more foolish. Thank you for listening. This weekly broadcast gives the essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted with this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Topic and ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here comes the final bit. <laughs>